welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to empower and inspire your wig journey. Today I'm gonna to look at a third piece in that new Raquel Welch Spring 2022 collection. This one is called On In 10. It's in the color Shaded Wheat, which is RL1422 SS. Now so I haven't even looked inside of this box yet, so it's gonna be a surprise for all of us. Um, I did purchase this style from Wig Studio One. If you go below this video, expand the description box, you will see a link, a product link, directly to this style. And on that link, you'll be able to see the price right away. You'll be able to see all of the colors and order directly from there if you like. We do invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. So on in 10 with an exclamation mark. I bet Raquel Welch herself has heard that phrase many, many times and she has to look her absolute best. So on in 10, I'm expecting to be a really beautiful style. Um, more of the affordable type of style from Raquel Welch because it's just a basic kind of cap. We'll go through that when we open it up. Um, also, I really think this is going to be cute because it's just short going mid-length, kind of a page style, uh, straight bob cut. Let's see if we're right. Typical Raquel Welch packaging. So here's the tag and then on the inside of the tag you'll see some care instructions. We are working with the True to Life Fiber by Raquel Welch which is the heat friendly by Raquel Welch. And you kind of just know it. When I feel the fiber I can tell right away if it's heat friendly or not. And it's very, very soft and velvety. All right, first things first, let's take a look at this cap before I try it on. A piece of rose lace material covering up those open wefts there. And that just helps give it some really nice coverage on the top. You don't wanna be able to see down into the wefts. And then what a beautiful velvet piece right there at the front. Also a hidden weft sewn in all the way. That helps give it a really nice hairline. Um, even when you style it away from the face, generally it's not very conspicuous. Raquel Welch does a really nice job, but super soft. That's gonna be really comfortable against the skin. And then it looks like um, an open ear tab here. Lots of fiber spliced into that ear tab. An extended open nape with Velcro style adjusters. Now this is a part of their Memory Cap 3 series. Uh, you'll see silicone all along the weftings there. And typically that gives it a nice uh, secure but comfortable fit, but it also helps this wig adapt to your own head shape a little easier. So every time you wear this for the first few times, it's just gonna get better and better and more and more comfortable. Okay, so next what I wanna do is try this on for you and give you an assessment of the fit first. Now, just to give you some uh, background, typically Raquel Welch fits me large. I have a 21 and a quarter inch circumference and Raquel Welch's tend to be large on me. Um, they also tend to have a lot of stretch. So that's what I'm anticipating, but we shall see. Okay, right away I can tell you this is a smaller fitting cap than what I'm used to from Raquel Welch. I'm still gonna have to make a small adjustment. I could go out just like this and it would be secure. However, because I am gonna make that small adjustment to make it even more secure, I really feel like this is a perfectly average cap by Raquel Welch. Now, if you purchase Raquel Welch, uh, because it does have a lot of stretch, and you might have that average large uh, circumference, I would just have no way of measuring for that. All I can tell you is that it fits me great with a 21 and a quarter. 
it's probably going to fit 22 the best. So go from there. All right, so I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna make just a small, small adjustment here just to, just to put it into place for me and make it perfect. There was no baggy cap or anything that I noticed at all. Um, so let's go ahead and now the Raquel Welch strings are so fine that I need to, I'm gonna need to concentrate <laughs> on getting this off. Okay, so I did it, I had to cut it. <laughs> All I'm doing here is shaking it out before I reapply it. I am going to use the my fingers just to pull away from the cap a little bit, loosen up that fiber, wake it up as I like to call it. Um, especially right on the crown area. It seems to be really tightly compacted there. So I definitely want to get some loosening. I'm noticing there's a heavy dousing of silicone on this wig style. Um, it's giving it a bit of a greasy look. And I could remedy that by uh, using a, a couple of spritzes of dry shampoo. That'll kind of take care of it if I wanted to wash it. Uh, just lightly with some shampoo that will also take care of it and it will just rub off uh, over time but yeah on this one it's kind of it's kind of greasy looking so it's not shine it's just the silicone which will resolve typically the heat friendly fiber by Raquel Welch isn't unnaturally shiny um, it has a really nice matte finish to it and it reflects the light beautifully. Okay, so let's go ahead and reapply on in 10. Oh, what a wonderful fit, guys. Wonderful fit. Okay. So let's go ahead and just take a general look at this. And again, the mirror, I'll get a better look when I'm done with the review. <laughs> but because the camera is not a good mirror, but uh, it's shorter than I expected it to be. It's only probably between nine and 10 inches, like overall, that's really nice. I think it gives it a really cute shape and it's just above the color of most people. So you're gonna get a little more longevity from the style. Uh, that front piece, those bangs are gonna be around seven inches. So what you need to know is that the crown, the hair, the fiber starts in a forward motion off of that crown and then divides out at the front of the forehead. So you are getting that kind of perpetual forward movement. But again, you just want to get in there and swirl. Set the fiber free. You know, allow it to see what it is. See see what the grain of the fiber is before you start to change it. See if you can work with it. That's always ideal, I think. To be honest with you, that silicone sheen just really drives me crazy because it looks greasy. Um, I am just gonna take a fine wig brush to the root and around the face to separate the fiber, give it a wispy look, but also maybe break up that silicone a little. I'm gonna do these unboxings. I really need to get a mirror <laughs> set up to where I can glance into the mirror and make sure that everything is where it should be. <laughs> I'm going by feel alone. Okay, what do you think? This is adorable. Just a cute little page style. Easy, easy, it's comfortable. It's super comfortable. It's kind of a light density. It's definitely not a heavy density style. It's kind of easy and breezy there. Um, and I feel like I would get better movement from it if it weren't so laden with that silicone finishing product. We looked at the cap. It weighs just under four ounces. 
So between three and a half and four ounces. And it has that seven inch bang. Now, to me, it seems shorter than that. Um, I'm six and a half from hairline to chin. Yeah, it's definitely shorter than that. So that, that first piece is probably gonna be about four and a half inches, okay? And then that is going to layer into some longer pieces here around the face. So this side piece here is probably seven inches because again, I'm six and a half from hairline to chin. So what they're probably getting at is anywhere from four to seven and a half inches around the face in kind of a tiered layer. A seven inch crown and then overall between nine and 10 inches. So let me just tell you that it is a lighter density. We covered that. Um, it has little permities. So on the top, you're not getting much at all. There might be a thin layer of permities just to obscure the wefting, um, but nothing soft or pillowy. Now at the nape, you're gonna find a little more permities, but on the top, at the temple, at the crown, directly behind the crown and back, really nothing until you get farther down on the nape. And that is just to give it some structure back there. Some structure and hold. This is a side swept bang area. So if you like to part it on in any direction, you can just move those bangs around according to your taste and preference. There's no designated <clears throat> parting space. I kind of like that one. And this one is parted more on the right-hand side. Again, I could take some heat to this if I wanted to as well. I could use it to straighten fibers. I could use it to add a little bit of body or curl. Okay, how sweet. It's tuckable. So you see the, the general movement and grain of these fibers is that it kind of has a forward swept movement. Again, that typical page cut uh, with the bang, the blunt cut on the blunt edge on the bottom and the forward sweeping sides. Classic, but it's easy to talk. First of all, it's a lighter density and that movement just scoops around the ear. How cute is that for summer? Okay, so it's time to do a spin in both indoor and outdoor light, and then we'll do some styling. As you've seen this come right out of the box, this is exactly what it looks like with just a few shakes and finding my ideal parting space. Let's go ahead and try with glasses. This one is great. I can wear an ear tuck and my glasses and it fits securely and comfortably. Nice glasses friendly style. So let's go ahead and just, I'll manipulate this hair a little bit um, I'll loosen it up even more before your eyes and just give you a real good sense of the density and help you help inspire you to style your wigs. We'll talk to you again soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.